Hello and welcome to another episode of Warton Solo Adventures. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the new the huge event nerfs, uh, so I thought I'd say a few words about it as well. Uh, seems now that uh, I think it's the third week in a row where the events are drastically different, so I guess we could sort of assume that this is the new way forward. Uh, basically, all the events got hit with a heavy nerf. Uh, specifically they've removed all unlimited parts of the events. <coughs> uh, there are not that many. Well, the, the clothing for instance, uh, they, the, it used to be the case that you could, could get the chest, uh, event chest and all the other stuff uh, once per day and then they had a, an unlimited part where you could get clothing items. I guess this isn't really significant because most people don't have that much clothing, but uh, let's say for instance that I think there's a gem event. Yeah, So there used to be <coughs> uh, the unlimited part of the gem events. This was changed a while ago, but now this change has been applied to uh, all of the events. So far there hasn't been a sylph events for a while. Those were the major source uh, for event chests, <coughs> so we'll have to see when the next one comes around, uh, but it looks like uh, all the unlimited events will be removed. So basically you can only do every event uh, once per day and uh, get one uh, reward per day. This is a huge difference. For instance the mount training event uh, that ran last week gave you zero whips back for spending whips which is uh, used to be at least 50% return and for some events it was 50% plus uh, some extra materials from the uh, event where you got chests back uh, which means that you wouldn't you could save up and basically stay on the same amount of uh, uh, resources <coughs> and still do all the events uh, so you could spend, say, 3,000 whips and then perhaps get to a bit over 2,000 back. So you only had to regain <coughs> 800 or so uh, between events. Uh, now you get zero whips back, which means that I would run through my entire uh, supply in two events. <coughs> so, and after that I wouldn't be able to take part in any events. Uh, the same goes for, I assume, uh, the Sepulchrum and the Mara and so on. Uh, the crystals obviously. Um, on top of this they've changed the event chest structure so uh, you can no longer get uh, any clothing sets uh, using the free chests or even bought chests. Uh, so this is this week's uh, <coughs> chest, it's called a clover box uh, and if you open it you can get uh, three of the four uh, armor pieces, that's the the way it's used to be uh, for a good while now, but uh, if you go to the, let's see, what is it? so the exchange, uh, you can't trade the, your chest for the wings here, uh, the way you've been able to for a really long time, so you can only get the three, the hat, the weapon and the armor, <coughs> so, and they've introduced uh, a second exchange event, where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, so there's a second uh, type of chest called a clover clothing chest. Uh, looks like this. Uh, only contains clothing materials. It also contains all four parts of the this week's armor set. Uh, but you can't get it. Uh, you can trade some rainbows for it. Uh, and this is limited to 10 per day. This one resets. I tried it last time. So since this is running for three days, I, you could get 30 of these chests, which isn't nearly enough, uh, because you need 210 of these, and that's the same rate as before, <coughs> uh, for an entire set, and you can also use it to get some of the old sets. Uh, however, you can't get these chests uh, for free, not in events or uh, anywhere else. You have to buy them, so basically that's 8,000 Valens per clothing set, uh, minus some, I guess, any discounts you might have, but... <coughs> Uh, I have no idea if it's 
uh, cheaper to open them, but that is random. So uh, I think I opened 30 or so last week, and I did, didn't receive any. I think maybe one piece of clover. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, so basically, you won't get unless you spend balance, you won't get any clothing sets from now on, which means that the events are <coughs> a lot less important, at least for me. The clothing sets uh, with the uh, following titles were a really good source of battle rating improvement, but uh, just getting a couple of pieces of clothing basically gives you nothing. They are level 1 pieces, and uh, you can't use them for, for much at all. Uh, you need a whole bunch <laughs> to be able to get the higher level clothing. So <clears throat> that's basically irrelevant. So that leaves you with opening these. And as you can see, the rewards are as bad as they've always been. Uh, opening three sold cores or 400k gold, that's pointless. Um, so the, you could uh, trade a few in for whips or some of these regular uh, resources, but not much else. Uh, they do introduce a few special uh, exchange events. Uh, well, they did last week. So, for instance, I I gathered a, a decent chunk of chests because I sort of thought they'd uh, keep the old structure. I'm not sure why. <laughs> so I had almost 200 chests, but I couldn't get any clothing sets so anyway, but uh, I could get a thousand advanced henna, which is, I suppose, a good thing, because they are usually cash only <coughs> for 120 chests, but that was a special exchange, so they may or may not introduce it regularly, you never know, but uh, for me, and I would say that's a good recommendation, I prob pretty much won't do any of these events that eat up your resources <coughs> for the foreseeable future. Uh, I did do some Holy Forge events last week, uh, but that is because Holy Forge is a great way to increase your battle rating. Uh, steadily increasing, I'm not really sure how, but that's the way it is. I'm close to 3.4 million now, which is nice. And I maxed the Holy Forge on all all my pieces that aren't plus HP. <coughs> uh, I will keep doing the first few levels uh, of the events, so I will because I have so much material, so it doesn't really matter. So, for instance, I will do probably do level six and level seven gems uh, because I have enough to do. I have enough gems to be able to do them for a really, really, really long time without <coughs> running out. So uh, I will do those, but that's pretty much it. All my higher level, higher level um, resources will be saved for the future. I guess I can. Uh, but as you can see, these are really minor rewards. I get two event chests and some gems, so nothing really. And yeah, no. Uh, so I have no idea why they did this change. <coughs> uh, it gives you a lot le less incentive to, well, play in general, basically. But. Uh, Perhaps there will be some more changes in the future, who knows. Uh, for now, uh, I will just grind through my archaeology and all the other free stuff. Uh, I still have my experience grind uh, to reach, to max out my talents, so I can work on that and claim some, the, all the free rewards, obviously. Uh, I just renewed my Spirit Covenant and VIP, so I'll let those run out and see what happens then, but uh, looks kind of grim at the moment, to be honest. I think there was a clothing... Yeah, I'm going to... It makes me a bit worried that they've changed the, the structure for these clothing chests. Uh, that you now uh, trade in 
another type of chests for the old clothing sets as well. Uh, makes me think that they may actually remove these clothing shards, uh, like they've done with a few other uh, resources, ancient coins and so on, <coughs> which used to be very valuable. So uh, I'm not going to hoard that many. Uh, I will actually trade in some clothing shards for this set because the title gives you really nice bonuses, and I don't have it, so I'll get myself a crystal swan set. I think the title gives... Let's see. Yeah, 3k defense of each type and then 10k hit points, so that is really good. Uh, I will also do some uh, clothing ident identification, because that's something I want to do either way, so uh, I will do it during the events, and all weapons I will do one, one refine. And I think this week you got... Um, You got clothing shards for as rewards for the clothing identification. You don't always, so that's something you always want to check out. But yeah, since I got a few of the pieces from last week, the helm and weapon. So 20% can mean a very long streak of not getting anything. That's the way random numbers work. Switch to the crystals. Oh, that's kind of not so pretty, uh, but it's nice to switch things up from time to time. So I guess I'll be. Oh wow, that was not my favorite. Uh, Jesus. Okay, I'll look like a doofus for a while and then. Thirteen char. Oh, and I removed the <laughs> well, the mass collect button. I guess I'm not sure why. I think I'm close to. Okay, no, not so close. I still need thirty-ish more shards for another set, but I guess that will have to wait. Um, so I guess. W Let's see, I think getting these clothing chests are probably more useful than uh, <coughs> let's see. So these clover clothing chests are probably more useful than the regular clo clover chests, since I won't be pretty much won't be able to use them for anything at all. So uh, I think that a good strategy will be to ah uh, and this one doesn't work. I have 30 boxes. I will I will do 20 of them, exchange them for rainbows. I suppose I could have done a few less. Oh well, and then I will get basically this is a one-to-one -one exchange. You trade one chest for 10 rainbows, and then 10 rainbows for one chest. But you can only do 10 of these a day, so you could get. 30 of these for free. Um, so I guess that's a good way to to spend your clover boxes. Um, let's see. Wings, helm, 
armor. And I don't think I can make any... Nope. I don't have enough to make any clothing that will give me rewards. But this will be opened. Yeah, because I can't... I'm never going to get 200 of these more, so I'll open them. Uh, so let's see, fashion shards, one clothing. At least all of these are useful, uh, except for the gold though, but uh, cores and charms and good luck charms and so on. They are all useful materials, so that is a good exchange. Well, not good, but it's the least bad, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess I'm done ranting for now. Uh, so don't do any events for now that I won't at least so hopefully things will improve in the future but you never know with this game uh, but until next time guys take care